Good morning, Internet. This is the old fat dad, and welcome back to another beautiful day on the Goober Nation gun range. It's especially beautiful today because it's the beginning of fall. Start of squirrel season is almost here, and we're going to get our rifles sighted in for some squirrels. This year I'm going to be hunting in two different environments, I guess you'd call it. The first is going to be up in the mountains in the northwest corner of my lovely state of South Carolina. We've got a little bit of the Blue Ridge poking down and a huge game management area that's open for any kind of hunting you want to do. Not very many people take advantage of this area and when I was out bear hunting or attempting to bear hunt last year, I noticed there was a ton of squirrels out. So this year I'm going to try out squirrel hunting in the mountains and see how that goes. Now, the mountains are not very open. It's very tight, claustrophobic even. A lot of brush, not a lot of long shots. So for my first setup, I'm going to have the Bagara BMR with the carbon. Lightweight, nice setup here for hiking up and down mountains. I'm not going to sight it in at my typical 50 yards. I'm going to try a 35 yard sighting because I don't expect those long shots. The second place we're going to be hunting is here in... The woods uh, on my personal property and this is a little bit different than the mountains I've got some long open stretches that I can hunt some good spots where I can sit and see 50 yards 75 yards pretty easily so we're gonna keep the Ruger 1022 set up with a 50 yard zero depending on where you're hunting I think uh, these are the two I'm going to say the two best zeros you can put on your 22 rifles for squirrel hunting. So let's see what those two zeros look like and uh, we'll shoot them at a couple, of di couple differences and we'll see what the drop looks like as well. So you can kind of plan for your shots and if you have a closer shot or a longer shot, you'll be able to, to use this information hopefully and know where to hold on your squirrel to get a good hit. Let's start our testing out with the BMR, and I'm going to use this CCI suppressor ammo in the BMR. It's been shooting pretty good for me. So I'll uh, check my zero at 35 yards. We'll see if we're on, and then we're going to take it out to 25 and 50. We're going to see where our point of impact lands. All right, five shots, 35 yards. Let's see how she does. Bolt is still sticky. Okay, it's not a terrible group. It looks like we're just a smidge low there. And uh, nice thing to note here is that my first shot, the cold bore shot, wasn't too far off from the other shots. So I know if I get a good zero, it looks like it'll probably stay true for my first shot out hunting. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take a shot at some plates, 25 and 50 yards, and we'll see where we're landing in relationship to that 35 yard shot. All right, we're going to have Gus behind the rifle to shoot these uh, targets for you just so you know that I'm not totally full of crap and uh, somebody else can do what I'm doing here so I'm gonna get behind him and let him take some shots here you're gonna go for 25 or 50 first 25, 25? okay so here we are behind Gus let me get on that target alright Gus go for it nice wow, that, that hit really hard yeah Okay, and then the 50 yarder is the uh, circle right out there. 50 yard now? Yep, hit that 50. Nailed it. Okay, we'll start with the 50 yard target first. So let's take a close look here. Gus was aiming, you said you were aiming a little high, right? Yeah. So just uh, a smidge here. up there. Yeah. And here. We had a little bit of a drop at 50 but honestly that is pretty darn close so that is almost exactly where he aimed let's go take a look at the 25 yard target now and uh, that plate over there I think is an 8 inch plate and the 25 yarder is a 3 inch plate just give you guys some perspective on what we're shooting so at 25 yards 
here we are at 25 yards and again pretty much dead center so you were aiming dead center and you yeah. pretty much hit dead center uh, yeah this is this is where i am i'm pretty sure okay so that's pretty darn awesome so at 35 yards we're dead on at 25 yards we're pretty much dead on and then at 50 yards just maybe what would you say an inch less than yeah. half maybe an inch to a half an inch drop at 50. So that's the benefit of this 35 yard zero. From 25 to 50, you're really just straight on. You don't have to really compensate at all. If you're putting your crosshairs on the squirrel's head, you're probably gonna get them. Okay, now we're reset up with the beautiful Ruger 1022. And we're gonna be taking it out to 50 yards with the good old Gus to see what kind of group we're going to print with it make sure our zero is good and then we'll get the metal plates again and see how a 50 yard zero does at a couple of different distances something I forgot to mention as well we are using the CCI standard velocity with the Ruger 1022 it seems to be the best subsonic uh, choice for that 1022 Can you see your impacts? Yeah, it went to the bottom right. So it's a little low? We'll keep yeah. on shooting the center, okay. and then we'll uh, adjust it after you shoot your five. And make it safe and uh, we will go down there and check it out see what kind of adjustments we need to make all right here we are at 50 yards and there is the target so Gus yeah this is the first shot right here it went low and then the rest of them group right there okay so the bad news about that is it looks like our cold bore shot with the 1022 is gonna go Oh gosh, what is that? Probably about a half inch, a little bit more low, which is kind of a bummer. But at least we know what to account for with our first shot. And we're going to move that group to the left. And I'd say it's pretty close to being good. So let's get our second group in there. We'll uh, get it nice and zeroed and then we'll shoot some plates. We've made our adjustments. We're going to shoot our final sighting group at 50 yards. And let's see if we can get it right on target and then shoot some plates. Whenever you're ready. Middle target, right? Middle target. It's really good. Not good? Very good. Not good. How's it look from back here? Pretty good. Okay. It's uh, maybe <laughs> a quarter of an inch. Really? Well, I'm kind of excited now. Let's go check it out. Okay. Sharpshooter. He put out a <laughs> banger of a group here. This is a beauty. So aim in center on this one, right? Yeah. And this is that's a really great group. And we're a little bit off to the left there, but uh, that's not bad at all. So I'd say we got this rifle sighted in. Let's go ahead and set up our. Ooh, let's go ahead and set up our um, targets at. Uh, let's do 35 and 25 and just see where they hit at that range, and then maybe we'll maybe we'll move it out to 100 and see how Gus does at 100 with the 50 yard zero. Gus is loaded up, ready to go. Got a couple of shots. We've got our steel moved now to 25 yards and 50 yards. So Gus is going to take his first shot at 25, and then. 25 Did I say 50? 25 and 35. 25 and 35. Does that sound good to you? Sounds good. All right. The little circle is our 25 yarder whenever you're ready, Gus. And just keep it directly on center. Yep, that was dead on. Okay. Now 35. Dead on. Is it really? 
Yeah. So here we are at 35 yards, and man, it doesn't get much better than that. Let's walk through with Gus what we've got here. Where'd you aim? Uh, yeah, pretty much right here. Just a line here, and um, it, uh, it, it was dead on. Yeah, you're pretty much dead on there. Maybe a little bit to the left, but I think yeah. that was probably our scope adjustment. So let's go to 25 yards, and we'll see how we did at 25. So here we are at 25 yards, and again, that's pretty darn good. All right, guess what we, where were you aiming? Yeah, uh, I'm pretty sure I was, I was not aligned in this, um, and I think it really went where I aimed for. So uh, I, I, don't, I don't think you can even tell it, if it went to the left or not, like the other ones. Okay, so again, we are, we're hitting right on at 25 and 35 with the 50 yard zero. So maybe, uh, Maybe that 35 yard zero is, is not really as useful as I thought. Looks like to me, 35 yard or 50 yard zero is gonna be real good for squirrel hunting. I'm pretty happy with how things turned out. In the past, I feel like I might have missed some shots with a 50 yard zero that were up close because it was shooting under, but I guess I can't argue with the results here. The 50 yard zero actually might be the better between the two. Anyways, hope that helps you planning for your sighting for squirrel hunting. Good luck this season. That's about all I got for you today. We'll see you next time.